Hi everybody and welcome to our first edition of Shop Talk with Julie Bowen of A Talk Thinness Evolved. Today what I wanted to talk about is what a bead annealing kiln, a Gen Ken bead annealing kiln, sounds like and looks like when the relay goes out from the electronics of um, an automatic bead annealer. What happened was, is I was making the beads I needed for my Art Beads Scene October Challenge, a happy little owl. I was putting my beads in, and all of a sudden I realized that my kiln was totally dark. It had been on, it had been at garage temperature, which is about 940, 950 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, the clicking which sometimes you'll hear on lamp working videos, the clicking is caused by the electronic switches turning on and off to control the heating coils inside. When the clicking sort of stops, <laughs> that's when you know it's a relay problem. So let me show you here. If I turn on my cycle, so I use program one, I have my program one um, set for my bead annealing cycle. So my ramp one, I ramp full speed with an empty kiln to 950 degrees and I hold it for six hours and one minute. So that gives me about six hours to work. Then I ramp up full speed to my annealing temperature which is a big 960 um, and then I hold that for an hour because I don't make beads that are super big. Ramp three, four hundred degrees per hour to 780, which is below the stress point of the beads. And I only hold that for no time at all. I just want to make sure that the cooling cycle is controlled past the stress point of the beads. And then I start my annealing cycle. And now we can see what happens. It's running. My garage temperature is 55, but you just saw that quick click, that quick flash, and now nothing. Ordinarily, this light would be on because it's supposed to be heating, again, full speed up to 950 degrees. And so when this happens, when it just clicks and no heating happens, that's how you know that your relay is out. So I ordered the new part. It's coming from Gen Ken, and it'll be here Monday. So on Monday, join us, join me here again for our second edition of Shop Talk, where we will talk about replacing the relay on your 120 volt bead annealing kiln from Gen Ken. Thanks all for watching. Bye.